Hi guys, this is Anal and we are back playing House of Iron 4. I've been granted a preview access to the upcoming DLC Death or Dishonor as well as 1.4 patch, as you can see, and we're going to take those for a spin, of course. Uh, if you are not familiar with the DLC, it is a country pack that uh, takes us into Central Europe and expands the experience uh, of uh, four nations that have been in the matter of speaking uh, trapped between German Reich and Soviet Union. Those countries would be Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and kingdoms of both Hungary and Romania. Uh, it basically adds uh, national uh, focus trees uh, as well as uh, certain events, national spirits and so on and so forth. Basically customizes the experience. Uh, for our first playthrough we are going to take a crack at Czechoslovakia. It's going to be a quick one, one way or the other, because we uh, are going to try to play fairly historically. Um, but by what I mean, we are going to stick with the Allies. And uh, but when Hitler demands Sudetenland from us, we are going to tell him to go fuck himself. And well, we shall see if we are going to live to tell the tale. Uh, we are going to, of course, play on Veteran, RNA mode, because, right, there is a achievement we are going to go for uh, called a Munich Disagreement, uh, since, well, Munich Agreement was the, uh, the event that resulted in uh, Czechoslovakia giving up Sudetenland when uh, France and the United Kingdom gave up on it, on them, and uh, the achievement requires you to uh, occupy Munich while at war with uh, Germany. Uh, yes, while at war with Germany. So we'll attempt to do that if we happen to survive. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, I remember Slovakia. Alright, uh, before we start we of course need to take a look at our situation. As you can see we have a fairly decent amount of factories for uh, fairly small nations, nation, which is 16 civilian and 9 military factories. For whatever reason, we don't have any dockyards. That's interesting. Uh, our army is, well, nothing to write home about, but it's, what, 20 infantry divisions? Well, actually, uh, 1, 2, 3, well, nine, 18 infantry divisions and some cavalry brigades, so... Not terrible, but as you can see, we don't have enough manpower to uh, to actually field even what we have, so we'll have to do with that. Um, let's take a look at our research before we go to the main course, which are uh, national focuses. Uh, nothing too crazy here, but we do have access to mountain infantry, which is um, important since we are going to fight in the mountains. That's our whole deal uh, about the Stetlands. Uh, Suddenly, we do not have access to engineers, as you would expect, uh, which is, on the other hand, a problem because, well, we are going to uh, be defending and it would be nice to be able to uh, entrench properly. So, we'll need to deal with that. We do actually have up to date tanks, uh, which is uh, very historically correct because uh, Czechoslovakia was known to be. Uh, punching above its weight mm, in terms of uh, industry and armament production and development, uh, especially when it comes to tanks. Uh, quite a few of uh, Czechoslovakian tanks then participated uh, in invasions of both Poland and uh, and France. Uh, but we are not going to allow that. Uh, we are going to stand our ground. Now, artillery. We don't have access to anti-tanks, which would be nice fighting Germans. We do, however, have uh, up-to-date anti-air. Uh, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I do not use that. I have never really, beyond my some test games, uh, used anti-air, but this is going to change today. I will explain why in a bit, but we are actually going to use anti-air. So, that's exciting. Uh, we do not have any battle plans picked, uh, which is a shame, but uh, we have an obvious winner here, which, well, as I mentioned twice already, we are going to have to defend, so for that reason we obviously want max entrenchment buff. 
as well as max planning buff. Uh, and here we have some additional organization and defense for our infantry, so um, we won't be able to get much further, but uh, th those uh, those three alone are going to be a must if, if we are to survive. Uh, once again, for whatever reason, we have no access to anything uh, naval related, which is uh, a travesty and a historical uh, inaccuracy, as we all know, but that's what it is. Um, we do have up-to-date uh, close air support, uh, sadly no fighters, which I like, uh, but um, this is going to be a tight fit since, well, we may have a decent uh, amount of factories for a miner, but remember, we are going to fight uh, the Germans, so we don't really have uh, much in terms of IC uh, industrial capacity to spend on luxuries, but I think we are going to try to, to build some uh, some you know, some planes to test uh, a new uh, Air Force system that came out with this patch. We'll get to that later. Uh, not so much with tanks. I don't think we, we can afford tanks uh, in our defensing fi defensive fight in the mountains. Not exactly what you would. I would. I mean, it's always. I mean, tanks are always great, but we I don't think we can afford them. Uh, not by a long shot. Uh, our doctrines, we won't have research. Uh, nothing unlocked here. Uh, you've probably seen a glimpse, we only have access to free, free research slots, which is going to be a problem. Now, for the national focuses. Ah, before we go, uh, we start with two national spirits. Uh, once again, at the... Uh, uh, another way uh, Czechoslovakia punches above its weight industry-wise is the Skoda Works, a uh, famous uh, automobile factory uh, that has been uh, well cutting-edge technology at the time and it is uh, presented here as an outstanding plus 10% factory output uh, bonus across the board, so great stuff. We are however a divided nation, so there are things between uh, Czechs and Slovaks aren't all that uh, great, uh, which cuts heavily into our national unity down to 50, which is really, really bad because uh, the moment we lose Prague, we are pretty much done. So there isn't much room for error and, you know, uh, retreating into the hills or whatnot. We need to stand our ground or we are done. Uh, it also cuts into our production by adding 2% to required consumer goods factories, as well as uh, reduces our uh, recruitable population, which as you can see is a problem. We also start with uh, volunteer only and uh, civilian economy, so uh, could have been better. Now, for the main cause, which is of course the focus tree. It's fairly expansive, as you can see here. Let's start from the left. Uh, um, back in the old days of current patch 1.3.3, uh, 3, all those uh, regions have been uh, very heavily fortified if you uh, ever played around. Uh, but now all, the, all but very few provinces have any forts and those that do have only level 1. And that fortification has been moved into the focus tree. If we so desire, we can uh, go through the main land, uh, line and basically fortify our ho whole border with Germany up to level 7. On top of that, uh, each level of those four is going to give us 0.3 recruitable population on top of some construction speed for faults, but uh, uh, which well, amounts to 1.2, which is uh, a sizable amount. Uh, there are other options that we can expand to, but probably won't have uh, much in terms of time for that. Industrial tree. Another fairly interesting thing is, uh, well, we have to start with that. Uh, fairly useless, so uh, civilian to military factory conversion and uh, civilian factory construction speed. We do not have time to build civilian factory or convert them to, uh, to military ones, so that's pointless. Uh, now we have two exclusive trees that give us either uh, three civilian factories per unlock or uh, or just two. Uh, well, if we choose two, we can 
remove the divided nation option later on by basically not screwing Slovaks when uh, doing an industrial investment and they then all right you are in that bad you checks and yeah and that thing goes away but that costs uh, well a focus of course well uh, let's start uh, at the beginning though because uh, we do know when uh, Germany is going to go to war with us or at least demand Sudetenland and that's going to be 14 uh, 14 focuses in so we have time to do exactly 14 focuses before we most likely end up in war so we'll have to uh, pick and choose now uh, this is an interesting one uh, arms exports uh, so Czechoslovakia was a uh, um, f fairly um, important arm exporter at the time and this is uh, portrayed by this uh, very unique uh, branch of the focus tree. We started very strong with the national focus that uh, decreases consumer goods required by five and uh, increases production efficiency growth by another five. Uh, second level uh, cuts another 2% of the requirement uh, for consumer goods uh, and that gives us another 5% uh, up to 10 of production efficiency growth and uh, actually reduces cost of uh, in that infantry equipment by 5. And here it's, it's more of the same but uh, more production efficiency growth and uh, production cost to, uh, to tanks. So Fairly decent tree right here. Now, for political direction, we can go left, democratic, or go, go to the right. All of those uh, can lead to uh, to us getting a research slot, but we need to uh, reach uh, 34 uh, factories first. So, uh, quite a few. I think so, yeah, we cannot, we cannot, uh, well, bottom line is we cannot rush to the, uh, for the reset slot. Interesting part is, however, uh, this thing. If you already have five research slots, you will not receive an extra. Uh, that's sad because we have actually three focuses that uh, give us one research slot and uh, we only get to, um, to use two of them. Uh, so one is here. At the end of the political direction tree one is at the strategic decision tree which is uh, well an offshoot of this one actually we can uh, so we could for example be democratic by try to up, but try to appease germans or um, try to build our own entente uh, by uniting with uh, by creating a faction with romania and yugoslavia we can try we can trust uh, trust the West that they will defend us and so on and so forth. So, uh, and here is the second research slot that we can get uh, a bit, a bit closer. And uh, this, uh, this one still requires factories, but it's, it's a bit easier to reach actually. Now there are two, well, three, uh, three, uh, sub trees, one for land forces with war college being actually, a uh, third option that gives you an extra research slot. Uh, this one is uh, a bit weird because uh, as you can see here to, to, to reach all the way we need to get it all. So that's what uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12 of our, out of our 14 uh, unlocks before the war starts. So this is definitely not uh, part of the tree that would suit us in this kind of playthrough. Uh, so this this one is actually fairly interesting because uh, all the way down here, which is two um, two unlocks in, we have a very powerful um, national spirit. Air is our C, which uh, cuts the cost of fighters by fifteen percent, which is fairly impressive. Uh, those around here are uh, generic uh, research bonuses, and uh, if we have this one as well as one. On either side, we can get Rule the Air, which gives us a whooping free research bonuses to air doctrines. So this is much more interesting than than the uh, than this bit, I would say. And well, we won't have access to the sea, I don't think. So yeah. 
uh, unlikely. Uh, what we are going to start uh, with, I, I actually, well, I, I went through it and so on and so forth, is going to be a political direction. And then we'll go for the democratic bastion. Since, as I mentioned, we are going to stick with, with, with democracy. The reason is that uh, we have a 14 day actually focus right here, beacon of liberty, that gives us defense on our core territory as well as 5% research time. Uh, the faster, but we require 70% support for our democratic party that we are not, uh, well, we need 5 more percent and, and uh, this is going to have to tick up using uh, this democratic bastion. Uh, that will give us, uh, as you can see, 350 political power total that uh, we get to use uh, to uh, fill uh, some cabinet positions. So we're going to start with that. As for research, uh, we're going to start with basic machine. We're going to start with the standard one. Um, you could consider going straight for the uh, for the doctrine, but neither fourth nor fifth doctrine is actually a breakthrough point for us uh, in terms of bonuses. So, uh, like it sometimes is uh, for for uh, superior firepower doctrine, uh, we are better off just um, taking it slow and try to use uh, well the bonuses given us by the uh, by our industry so we're going to focus on that and electronic engineering nothing too fancy here <sighs> as for army um, right we haven't uh, looked into our uh, our templates so um, very straightforward stuff here um, we have only uh, nine, uh, three by three mountaineers and uh, standard infantry, some very small uh, cover brigades and some very small tank brigades. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, basically convert everything into uh, uh, into the mountain troops at some point. Uh, for now we are going to disband cavalry because it's not going to be very useful for us and uh, um, well, since those are very small units, uh, we would uh, have to uh, use quite a lot of uh, waste quite a lot of uh, energy to uh, actually reset uh, to actually train them back up. So it's better to just uh, produce new units later on. And for now, we are just going to do some exercising so we can uh, so we can have. Some army experience. Not so much because we are going to pick a uh, uh, theorist. All right. As for our military production, not much in terms of uh, of resources, as you can see here. We're going to buff it up to six, I think, when it comes to infantry. Uh, two factories for support equipment should be enough ish i'm actually going to use one factory to uh, build closer support uh, probably two i will need probably used two, two for anti-air and whatever is left uh, for i mean six seven eight for artillery and that's Basically, it uh, for us at the moment we cannot really afford tanks. I don't think. I mean, probably, but I don't want to take any chances uh, for now. I think uh, it's our main goal should be to uh, to hold on to our territory, and we'll think about counterattacks later on. Right. As for civilian ones, uh, you would um, normally at the start of the game you would of course consider. Uh, improving, uh, improving your infrastructure since as of the previous patch uh, each level of infrastructure uh, low, um, basically lowers the cost of your factories by 10 percent but uh, since uh, factory so basically each level uh, of infrastructure lowers the cost by 720 which uh, of course means that for it to um, for building infrastructure that costs 3,000 each, you need to 
uh, then uh, offset it by building at least five factories in the state. And we do not have a single state in which we will be able to uh, build, well, maybe in Moravia after 39 tech. So uh, uh, it doesn't make sense for us to build any just infrastructure first. We'll just uh, going to start by building factories, so starting with uh, Sudetenland because that's plus 80. And well, that's it. Nothing too fancy. All right, that would be that would be that I think. Not very sure about this cloud air support, but we shall uh, we shall see. All right, let's speed it up. Oh, uh, one more thing. We do have very interesting choice uh, when it comes to commanders, which suits us perfectly. Which is a four planner. Plus 10% max planning and the defensive doctrine, plus 30% uh, max entrenchment. And if we want to go on the offensive, we do have offensive doctrine uh, to use. Uh, but, well, it's unlikely that with the amount of uh, divisions we have, we will ever fight, we'll do a lot of fighting uh, where, you know, too high combat width uh, of our forces is a problem because we usually are going to use like one, sometimes two divisions per province, so. And that's how it works. Okay. We do have some Air Force. Uh, handful of fighters and handful of uh, bombers. Or actually, well, we have uh, 38, 48 of those close air supports. And this is, I believe, yes, uh, interwar tactical bomber. Right, so uh, Rhineland got remilitarized. Uh, that's 5%, but exactly 5%, which means that uh, we won't be able to go for early mobilization, sadly. Straight off the bat, because we actually just got 5%. Uh, mm, we actually just got uh, 150 uh, to here. What we are going to do is well we could chance it and hope that uh, spanish civil war will uh, launch and will start uh, like next within next two weeks which is very unlikely but possible that would bump us over five and allow us to uh, go straight for early mobilization uh, but that's un but since that's unlikely we are going to and just go for Skoda here and reduce industrial research time that well, will benefit us uh, from the get-go. And just watch, watch the Spanish Civil War land. Oh, of course it fucking had. <laughs> Alright, so we have now... Uh, well, we're probably not gonna be able to... So it usually doesn't uh, start for a few more months, but well, here we go. Hopefully, Atiyah will, will hold on, and uh, that will possibly result in a few more. Uh, perhaps there will be some uh, volunteers, yeah, a little bit. So, well, we shall see. Perhaps we'll be able to get uh, partial isolation. But we kind of screwed ourselves. I should have already waited, but oh well. And not partial, early. Problem is that this is gonna go down by uh, 0.5 every every month so before before this finishes and gives us another 200. Look, okay, mechanical engineering. Uh, we of course are going to wait for 30 days. In case we want to switch something around. Was there a production? Oh, almost there. That should give us a... Ah, okay. So this is what? Uh, minus 20%. Uh, not sold on that, but oh well. We started, so might as well keep it. I just want a few. Uh, the thing is that even if we if we don't have fighters, a close air support can be can be fairly useful in uh, defensive combat. And since 
we have uh, an air zone that is our own. Uh, enemy fighters will have difficulty uh, detecting our bombers within our... Uh, that's mostly very early on in the game, but remember we are going to go to war in uh, like a year before uh, World War II actually starts. So. Uh, one more day, there it is. Uh, now, uh, I think I'm actually going to ignore mechanical computing uh, because that's uh, we have two years to uh, to get ready, and uh, that will take uh, better uh, what one third of our uh, of our time out of three of our slots to get three percent, which is basically not worth it. Uh, nothing is happening here, so we are going to start with... Hmm. Well, normally I would go with, with Trench Warfare, but... Uh, but, 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 we, we want to get theorists fairly early on, so... Uh, Well, we have that uh, this 30 saved up, so we can switch it later. So for now, let's see. Mm, really not for that, as I mentioned. Uh, those are not finished yet. Okay, so let's just start by uh, getting engineering company. It's a long one. All right. Uh, so we do have still over five. So now we can either um, go for tourist or switch for early mobilization and that 20% uh, decrease is definitely worth it. So two months late, we are going to go for early mobilization. Now, um, as I mentioned, we need 70% support for our democratic party to be able to pick that. So we'll just leave it to, uh, to keep ticking. Um, uh, I don't think we are going to go for strategic decisions quite yet. That's another 150, but uh, we we are going to get uh, our uh, our theories shortly, and rest is less important. Uh, sadly, we don't have anything remotely useful around here. We don't have uh, uh, what is it? A political? Uh, um, the guy that gives you plus 15 percent. Uh, political power, which is always a great option on veteran when you only get uh, 0.5 because it boosts it to 0.8, but no no such luck. And we are not going to use any new planes or any new tanks, so those are worthless, so uh, terrorist is, is the way to go. And later we'll have uh, an option to pick uh, two or three of, uh, of general staff. Mm, so we are just going to go for industry now. Later on we will want to... Uh, well, well, we'll have time to get, what, three or four of those, I would say, before the uh, before actual war starts. We we'll want to add a little bit of uh, fortification uh, things uh, not exactly at the very end, because we need that recruitable population. The uh, thing is that this this thing here, uh, defensive preparations, uh, basically switches our uh, conscription all the way to extensive cons conscription. Uh, so we don't want. Uh, so we want to use that uh, at some point to circumvent spending uh, 300 political power. But, uh, well, we can't uh, do it uh, from the get-go, so we need to uh, get a little bit of uh, recruitment population by uh, and start using it uh, uh, to field more divisions uh, by using those things. Well, we'll get into the details later on. Okay, bas basic mechanical tools. Uh, so we are going to... So we have... Uh, before we finish this recording, so... Uh, the reason why I, I waited 30 days for this to finish is that uh, now these 30 days are locked to this slot, not to this research. We started researching this, but now I'm going to uh, pick this slot and I'm going to switch it to 
one of the industries. Um, uh, so options are um, dispersed industry uh, is less vulnerable to, to bombing as you can see factory bomb vulnerability but uh, German is not doesn't really do much bombing early on so that's fairly useless uh, so what we would uh, want from it is a production base efficiency and production uh, efficiency retention which is a um, Basically, uh, base boosted from uh, what is it, 10 to 5, uh, 10 to 15. As you can see here, this we started at 10, so we would start at 15. And uh, retention is when we switch to different kind of equipment. Uh, we are not going gonna do a lot of switching, not uh, not yet at least. So um, let's see, uh, not this one, this one. And that would give us additional, basically, that gives us additional 5% factory output. But since uh, we will be uh, building quite a lot of factories, uh, and this is quite early in the game, uh, I think dispersed industry is actually the way to go simply because of the production efficiency base. Uh, all in all, with our already 10% uh, boost uh, from Scholar Works, I think. This is the way to go, and well, on an off chance that I'm wrong, we will be less vulnerable to uh, to being bombed uh, to hell. And as you can see, those 30 days have been actually transferred into our dispersed industry. Uh, so this is uh, so we've basically been able to speed our speed up our industrial uh, research by 30 days this this way because we just started it back to back. <laughs> All right, and here, well, as you can see, it's we are nowhere near, and um, we have only. All right, uh, problem is that, uh, as you can see, we only have three uh, research slots, and uh, as we discussed, those research research slots here aren't all that far, but uh, we simply cannot afford them. We do not have enough. Uh, options to, to go for research slots uh, before the war starts so uh, they are they just ain't gonna cut it in the first 14 uh, 14 uh, focuses which means that we will have to uh, make do with uh, free uh, with free, free slots for the time being uh, now, uh, I'm going to switch to the Land Doctrine as soon as I get uh, additional 10 points, so in 20 days. So for now, we are just going to continue working on that engineer company here. Okay, that's actually what we are. Uh, a few minutes over time, but let's just get to that little switch because it's, those are, you know, small things that matter uh, that add up to the actual. Uh, actual advantages all right and we can now go for the military theorists uh, we'll get uh well we will shortly be able to to stop actually uh wasting our equipment i think there you go because uh, since we only uh, we're only going to use a single um, yeah, I think we can do it now. Uh, we are only going to use a single uh, brigade for most, uh, sing, a single temp division template. And those are going to be those mountain troops that we're going to upgrade. So we don't, we'll need what, 50, uh, uh, 50 points to do that. So uh, we'll have enough between a little bit of training that we've done and the military terrorists that we that we got and now we're going to switch that uh, since we got the seven percent decrease all the way to here and there we go 30 days are already uh, accounted for all right we're going to continue in the next episode thanks for watching guys uh, if you like this uh, please actually do do leave a like since this is the first uh, part of the series and uh, 
videos that have uh, more likes are easier to find by the YouTube searching algorithm, so that helps other people stumble upon my content. And if you want to see the rest of this playthrough as well as the other upcoming ones uh, for this patch and beyond, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.